It was love at first sight for Ralph and Megan Doxey. The handsome Holly Springs firefighter walked into Walmart and spotted the beautiful pharmacist. He told his friends he would marry that girl. And he did. July 27, 2011, they exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony in Hawaii. But life took a turn they did not expect. We were in denial, I think, at first for a long time. We were like, now this can't be happening. You know, you have allergies and that's why your speech is slurred. And, you know, we and you go through that process of denial and then, you know, and then you get mad and you're angry. And then it was kind of like we could be sad and mad all the time or we could just live each day to the fullest and enjoy every second that we have together. And that's what we decided to do. The diagnosis, ALS, a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord. Slowly, over the past few years, Ralph has lost mobility and speech. His bride has become his caregiver. It's tough, but, you know, we just go day by day and, you know, God makes everything happen for a reason and, you know, there is a reason for this and we just have to have faith. The Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services has made several modifications to the Doxy home. It has been expanded from about right here all the way out. Also, um, this shower bench has been put in, and also these handrails. It's helped tremendously because we can, he can come in and he can hold on to the rails, and I can help him in the shower, or he can come in and sit down on the bench, and I can help him in the shower. I think the biggest thing is the truck lift. It has, it's been huge, it's been such a big help. Um, before we got the truck lift, he was, in um, a manual wheelchair and we were having to load that up in a vehicle and <laughs> put him in the wheelchair and you know I have a 17 month old and at the time months ago she was barely walking and so it was very hard to push him and hold her and it was hard to go out and do anything with us three without somebody with us you know without help and so the first night that we got the truck the next day we went to go see Disney on ice <laughs> And it was, yeah, it was great. And that was our first little outing in the truck, and it, it worked out. Oh. <laughs> Can you put it back in Daddy's pocket? The light of their lives is two-year-old Harper. Well, Harper is what keeps both of us going. <laughs> she is. He's laughing because she keeps us laughing. She keeps us on our toes when we're having a bad day or when something happens and he falls or, like last night, he... He fell in the bathroom in any other circumstance, you know, it would have been stressful and we would have been upset, but she was hilarious. She got on his face and started showing him his eyes and his nose and his mouth and sitting on his chest and any other circumstance it would have been very stressful, but it was, it was funny. It made us laugh. So. <laughs> Their MDRS counselor is Melanie Hickman. She gives hope to many clients. Our goal is to make them independent, and that's our goal. But it's to, to make them be happy for the time they're here. And so they can, they can feel like they're a person and not just everybody waiting on them hand and foot, so they can actually do something on their own. What would you say to lawmakers who fund these programs? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, continue it. It's it has definitely changed our life and enabled us to do things we wouldn't have been able to do. To learn more about opportunities for independence provided by the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services, visit mdrs.ms.gov today.